we're gonna upgrade to a M.2 drive. Computer's not acting the greatest, so we're gonna upgrade we're gonna speed to things up, do we? A little bit. Uploading a lot of stuff to YouTube lately and working with programs that are putting my computer to a halt, so I'm gonna try some upgrades here. First we're gonna start with this hard drive, which is 256 gigabyte. M.2 solid state drive that goes right into the motherboard. This is a new type of uh, solid state hard drive? Yeah, as far as I know, this is like a lot faster. So we've done benchmarks and we'll show you guys that stuff. Uh, showing how my computer was before, the score it got on the test we took. And then we're going to put this in and we're going to take the same test and see what the changes are. And then I can check out the program, see how they run and give my opinion on that as so well. This is a hard drive. No yeah. case, no slot. This is a hard drive. We'll show you close-up pictures, but it's tiny. This equals a solid-state drive that is much faster connection to your motherboard. And we'll give you all the information. We'll give you close-ups of this stuff. But not all computers can use it. No, if you guys have a compatible motherboard, look on your manual and see if it supports M.2 drives. and Maybe you can go pick them up. They have all different kinds, all different sizes, all different price points. This one was two hundred fifty dollars, and actually no, it was two hundred bucks. Two hundred, yeah. Yeah, two hundred bucks. So at Canada Computers, so anybody can get it. You can order them online, probably from anywhere. I've had this motherboard for two years and don't want to buy a new computer, so I'm gonna try this, and then we're gonna try some RAM. We'll start with this and see how it goes. More power. More power. So we'll give you guys a quick little demonstration of where it goes and uh, then we'll stop and blah blah blah, 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 blah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to say so, we get so a better view this is the motherboard how it sits so yeah the it goes right there in this area yep. take out this screw is this little pin goes this way well that seems too easy it's one thing I always hated about the other hard drives you know getting them into the slot that's it guys through. that's real time let's see how this goes We've got the operating system, Windows 10, installed on, believe it or not, this is a 16 gigabyte bootable USB drive that's got Windows 10 loaded on it. And we're gonna put it into the USB on the front. And we're gonna restart this puppy. We're gonna load operating system on it and see what happens. 32 gigabytes of RAM, 159 bucks times two plus tax. I got this stuff at Canada Computers. Pretty good stuff. So far, so good. On the left is the M.2 solid state drive. On the right is the 16 gigabyte, the USB 3.0. We loaded a copy of Windows onto it. My computer is liquid cooled, i7 5930K, NVIDIA 980 GTX, 256 gigabyte M.2 solid state, 32 gigabyte Corsair RAM. 2 terabyte hard drive, 240 gigabyte solid state, 500 gigabyte hard drive, X99A board by Asus. It's going a little too fast. You guys might have to go back and pause that. But on the right is the things to remember. Don't forget, pause this and read this, guys. There's a couple tricks in here that uh, will help you guys because I didn't have the greatest start. You need to update your BIOS. That was my main problem. So test your machine so you know what it was before. Then test it after. Then you're gonna know what kind of upgrade you got for what you bought. This software is pretty cool too. It's called Passmark, and uh, it tests everything. The green, the green bars are all mine when I beat other people with the same type of components. So this test is pretty crazy too rocks all kinds of different stuff some of the scenes it was rendering at 1500 frames per second if you guys pause you can look at the numbers it's 
I try and stop on the important stuff so that you have enough time to pause on it so you can see it if you really want to see it. Because I can't, uh, I know you guys all want to see the actual data, but I'm trying to squeeze everything I can into these videos, so. 6386.2, nearly double. It's a new score, sweet. This program breaks everything down. It, it's pretty nuts. So the test just finished. Now let's see what uh, my computer can do. I'm going to open up a bunch of uh, YouTube apps and see how much videos I can get going. I'm going to open up four. I'm rocking a 4K monitor. Um, I'm going to open up four browser windows and just see what kind of stuff I can line up. Push my computer a little bit. I just finished installing 32 gigs of RAM, four 8 gig sticks. Uh, they're Corsair Vengeance, 3200 megahertz, Vengeance LPX. Uh, I got them for, I think they're $159 a set for each 16 gig set. Got them from Canada Computers. And uh, the other upgrade I did was uh, ADATA. S X or sorry, S X eight thousand. It's a two hundred fifty six gigabyte solid state drive that works on M dot two technology. I have an Asus X ninety nine A motherboard. The motherboard supports M dot two hard drives, and they don't they don't plug in with a serial ATA cord. They actually go right onto the motherboard, like you guys seen in the video. Uh, the max performance, it says on the box, the read is up to 2400 megabytes a second, and the write's up to 1000 megabytes a second. Um, as far as I can tell, it's getting a little better than that. It's getting 2100 megabytes a second, I think, and writing up to 1300 megabytes a second. So just a little over. Um, the reading might be because I didn't have it overclocked properly. But with the Asus board, it's got the five-way optimization, and it kind of goes through and figures out what you got and what it can do and gets you all set up. It works really good. So on the screen, you guys can see there's Doom. That's playing at 1080p, 60 frames a second. Uh, on the top left, that's a 4K, 60 frames per second video. Even though it's not full screen, it's still downloading all the video it needs. You can see it's rocking my internet connection. The orange bar there in the middle in the far right, that's my internet. 5.7 megs a second. So it's it's pulling quite a bit of data right now to keep all these videos going and everything seems to be going really good. In a second here, I'm gonna actually load up a bunch of programs and see what kind of uh, memory load it's gonna put on. I don't have time to load a bunch of things into the memory, so. I'm just going to see how quickly it can start up all the apps. How quickly and basically how many I can open up and see what it does with it. Before this upgrade, playing four videos, it would probably do it, but my guess would be it would be a little laggy. Especially considering that I'm doing screen recording and I have about 8 gigs of stuff loaded onto the storyboard. Not sure if that's sitting in memory or not, but I got a whole bunch of files in Camtasia right now that I'm working on, and this video itself, it's all loaded up. So everything you see here, all these video previews and everything was all screen recorded while I was on my desktop with Camtasia loaded up, all the files for Camtasia to make this video. You can see right here is the storyboard. This is me creating this video and I just kind of have it minimized so that I can screen record the ending of the video. Here's where I am. Start with opening up uh, Illustrator. Use Illustrator to create line drawings. Also use Illustrator to export line drawings to SketchUp. And with SketchUp we create 3D models. Models that we basically some, sometimes we just use them for 3D models to represent what we're building or something like that. 
if we're building uh, like a shed or something like that, we'll draw it in Illustrator. But now that we have Google SketchUp, it's amazing. It's crazy. We use SketchUp lots. I have a 3D printer. You guys will probably see, hear and see it in the background, so I'm sure you'll know I got one. But the thing is awesome. We design stuff for it. We got a whole bunch of stuff that we want to design. Just working on one thing at a time. If you guys have anything that you guys want designed, and if it makes sense for the channel, then uh, we'll design it and we'll build it and we'll make a video about it and we'll give you a shout out for for the idea. And if you guys like the video that we put together, then make sure you subscribe and give us a thumbs up and help push this video along and help get this channel going. We could use all the support you guys can give. This is Character Animator. This is for creating basically animated drawings. The whole Adobe Suite is pretty sweet. Uh, got Photoshop, Illustrator, Animate, After Effects. There's all kinds of them. Dean, he's the Adobe guru. He's been designing graphics for 30 years. If you guys want to see some of the stuff he's done, you guys can go to burysigns.com. Um, they're located in Toronto, uh, in Scarborough, Markham, Markham area. If you guys ever need any sign work, feel free to call. You guys can look them up on Google. So far I've got Camtasia running, Adobe Illustrator, Adobe Photoshop, Adobe Character Animator, Adobe Animate, GoPro Studio. I'm gonna load SketchUp. If I can find it here. There we go. SketchUp. Close this ad. Ads are great, but I'm trying to show you guys the video, so. I don't even know what game this is up in the corner. I didn't even notice what I clicked on. Is it Doom? I think it's Doom. It's freaking playing sick, too. This guy's good. Squish it down. I'll minimize it. What else did I get going here? After Effects, yeah, let's... We can put After Effects in there. I'm curious to see what the memory loads. Oh. Is this too much for it? Normally it doesn't go black like this. But I don't normally open up eight different programs while I'm running a couple different programs pretty good. We'll see. Let's see what it's going to do. Oh, there we go. Well, seemed to load up pretty good, except for the little stall there. Oh, I think it wants me to close this down first. Yeah, close that. We'll just squish this down a little bit. Move it over here. And push it down. Yeah, that's pretty good. CPU loads, what? 78%, 74. I mean, it has got three video going, and four videos, sorry, and a uh, storyboard and screen record. And, well, the memory is only 10.8 gigabytes. You can see I got 31.9 available. That's pretty good. Discs, disk 1C, that's the new drive. I've loaded all the files on the, the new drive and using everything from the new drive just to see see how it works. It's only 240 gigs and I plan on getting a bigger one but it's all I could afford right now so seems to be doing the trick. The score almost doubled. The original score was 3,400 I think and the last score was 6,300. It was a 2,900 point increase. That's almost double. I was pretty blown away by that.
Definitely impressed. If you guys have a computer, I built this computer in 2014. If you guys have a computer that you want to do an upgrade to, check it out. Check your motherboard manual. Check to see if it supports M.2 drives. Um, it gives it a direct connection to your CPU, your GPU, your RAM, everything. It's a nice quick connection. Yeah, the solid state drive that I just installed, the new M.2 solid state drive is the one on the far right. I got a wicked reading of 2015 megabytes read, 1098 megabytes write, and uh, my original solid state drive got 551 and 201 write. That's four times more read and five times more write. So that's a pretty big improvement. That was $180 with tax for that hard drive and it's tripled my speed. It's done amazing things. So I did two upgrades, as you guys can see in the video. It was uh, eight gigs of RAM to 32 gigabytes of RAM and it's 2400 megahertz, the original RAM. The new RAM was 3200 megahertz. Now make sure you guys do a BIOS update because I had a little bit of a problem. I took back the original 216 sticks that I bought because they, did, they didn't work and I thought I did everything I could but I brought them back. I exchanged them for four 8 gigabyte sticks that I thought would work and then they didn't work so it ended up being the BIOS so if you guys haven't updated your BIOS in a while then just make sure you update your BIOS because different RAMs need your BIOS to be compatible so when they do updates that's th that's part of the reason why they do updates to the BIOS. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and uh, we need you guys to help the channel out. So if you guys have a minute and want to watch some of our videos in the future, uh, hit the like button, share the video and uh, subscribe to the channel. Thanks from Dean and Shannon. Take care. Bye.